Guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today we're talking about Oceans 8, the brand new spin-off kind of reimagining of the Oceans franchise. It does tie in in some stupid ways, but it's a fun, enjoyable heist film. And Cody's back with me reviewing one more last film before he goes home. Yep, you got that right. And, and pretty much, what do you think about Oceans 8? Absolutely. Okay, so Oceans 8, Zach's absolutely right. Honestly, I think the most you can say about this film is it is fun. It's got... It's, it uh, is. It's a lot of fun. It has a it has a couple of problems, but the problems that it does have has nothing to do with the performances. The performances yeah, in here are, are great. great. Everyone does a really good job, and especially I'm not gonna say she was like a standout, but Rihanna was really good in here. I liked Rihanna. She was fun. I liked her character that she was doing, and everyone really gives those nice one liners and nice moments in here. Uh, Aquafina, I think that's how your name. Say how you say her name. She plays Constantine in here. She was nice. Would have liked to see a little bit more of her. Mindy Kaling's great. Um, Sarah Paulson's great. I wanted more yeah. of her. I love her. I think she's such an underrated actor in Hollywood. But really, the big three main standouts in the film is Sandra Bullock. Kate Blanchett. And, of course, Anne Hathaway. And they're all great. Um, for me, I think out of the three main leads, my favorite was probably Anne Hathaway. I love the humor, but she had a lot of the best humor in here, but also Sandra Bullock was great. And, yeah, who was your favorite out of the whole cast? Yeah, well, we were talking about this on the way home, and here's the thing. I have, I probably have the biggest crush on anyone in Hollywood on Kate Blanchett, because well, I who think... who doesn't? I mean... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> she's gorgeous, she's a great actress, but I think my favorite standout in here was probably Sandra Bullock. I yeah, mean, she was great, and again, um, Ocean's 8's a fun film. If you're a heist fan, you're really gonna like this one. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys know I'm a huge fan of heist films in general, and Ocean's 8 is one of those great little heist films. It, you know, it doesn't do anything new. No. And um, the thing with this film is we will get into our issues in a second, but I do want to praise this film. It is a fun, enjoyable heist film. And if that's your kind of cup of tea, you're going to like this film. You're going to have fun with it. You're going to laugh. You're going to smile. Yeah. And that's what this film does. A lot of the cast brings that. Now, our issues with it are... They don't really affect the movie. I just would have liked to see more. One is we, you and me both agree... We needed more connections to the Oceans franchise in general. Yeah, because you don't obviously. need to see the other ones in, in general at all. Like, I haven't even seen the other ones in forever. And it really just... There's some nice little tie-ins here and there. Yeah. But I think there it was missing a lack of... Mm. You need something. You know, I'm going to let you guys know this isn't a spoiler, but you guys are going to be expecting stuff and... Don't get your hopes up too high on how it would connect to the Ocean's franchise, you know? It's just another nice little heist film in this universe. Yeah, absolutely. And another one of the bigger issues that we have is the fact that we all know that Steven Soderbergh directed directed Ocean's Eleven and the Ocean's franchise. Yeah, and well, I mean, he has his own style, though. Yeah, That's absolutely. something special about Soderbergh. Gary Ross actually took over for Ocean's 8, and it honestly feels like Gary Ross was trying to copy Soderbergh's style from yeah. Ocean's Eleven. And, except and that he... doesn't go to say the editing's bad or anything. It just, no. It feels <laughs> like you can tell it's not a Soderbergh film. Like, I saw Insane this year. That was a Soderbergh film. You felt yeah. it. Any film you really... Even Magic Mike's a Soderbergh film. Yeah. Like, you can feel his style. And in here, I didn't feel it. No, absolutely not. It actually... It almost feels as though Gary Ross was not only trying to copy a style, but he made... It was like grade B Soderbergh. And unfortunately, that kind of makes the film not very special in any way. Yeah, and, that, and that's where it kind of dipped down. I think they they needed to get another direction on here. Either another Soderbergh or someone else who has a different lens. I just don't feel like Gary Ross has ever had that. His sense of style. I don't yeah. think he has a sense of style. He still did a decent job directing this film. Like, it's not bad directing. No. It's bad no. directing. You can tell that the whole film will fall apart if it's bad directing. But I do wish that they would have gone for a different kind of style because this in, it does feel like an Ocean's film. It's just missing that umph that pushes up to be something special again it's an enjoyable film i'm most likely gonna forget about this in a yeah. couple weeks but if you're looking for something that's fun this is the film yeah absolutely and again there's one other con that i do want to bring up that you you actually brought up to me is yeah the motivations for sandra bullock's character to do this heist is dumb it, it's stupid absolutely it, 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 you didn't why? No, absolutely. And that's no spoilers. We're not going to spoil what her reasoning is, but no, it doesn't make but, sense. I mean, if you guys remember, if you guys remember in Ocean's Eleven, what was Danny Ocean? What was George Clooney's motivation in Ocean's Eleven? He feels as though this guy took his wife away from him, so him and his buddies are going to rob the three biggest casinos in Las Vegas. Yeah, Sandra, and, that, and that works. I mean, in in here, Sandra Bullock's 
character, her motivation in here, it didn't work for either of us. And honestly, it, it kind of felt like they were just trying to get the motivation in there so they could push the film forward. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of it is you're rooting her on because it's Sandra fucking Bullock. That, that's why you're rooting her on it, in, in the yeah. sense. And it, it doesn't go away from her performance. She's great. It's just more go down to how they wrote her character and how they wrote some of the other characters in here. Because everyone else, really, you can understand their motivation why you would go along with Sandra Bullock. I mean, yeah. I would rob someone for Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, th those are just our three issues. Again, it's a fun heist film. Great performances from our three main leads. Nice supporting cast in here that, again, the film makes me want to see another Oceans film with this cast Add on more. Oh, and the score. Yeah, I, I can't forget to talk about the score. The score is a character of its own. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. I, it, it really, like, I would buy that score. It, it's fantastic. It, it That's one of the things that actually made it feel like an Oceans film again, yeah. is the great score in here. But you got any last thoughts for this film? Honestly, my last thoughts are, to repeat what Zach said, I mean, we have problems with it, but... Ocean's 8, if you're looking for something to just have something, something refreshing, enjoyable. something fun, if you just, you want something very fun to go see in the movie theater, this is definitely the film to go see. Yeah, if you're looking forward to this film, you're going to enjoy it. If you like heist films, you're going to enjoy it. If you're a fan of the Ocean's films, you're going to like it. And if you're a fan of any of these beautiful ladies, you're going to like it. They all do a great job. Again, even the ones that I didn't think were going to do a good job, did a good job. Yeah. And I want to see another Ocean's film with this same cast. Oh. Get on board with that, Warner Brothers. With all that said, though, we're going to give our ratings. Cody, what's your rating? Because I know that we actually have a little difference. Yeah, this isn't like some of the other reviews you've seen. Um, So, for me, I, I enjoyed a lot of the elements in here. Some of the stuff definitely brought it down for me, but I think this is a fun enough film, so I'm going to give Ocean's 8 a B. And for me, guys, I'm going to be giving Ocean's 8 a B-. minus, Just a little bit below. I would have liked to see a better motivation. I also would have liked to see a little bit more character dynamics. But overall, I had fun with it. I'm going to end up buying this film. I thought it was fun. And, you know, it's not just because, like, I have to have all the Ocean's films to just tie in. <laughs> because let me tell you, I do not own Ocean's 12. And I probably never will. <laughs> this is no Ocean's 12. But I enjoyed it. And the most important thing, guys, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are of the Ocean's franchise. Are you guys excited for Ocean's 8? Are you not? Who's your favorite cast member in here? Again, I think we both have our favorites. Mine's Anne Hathaway, and yours is... Kate Blanchett. Yeah, she's great. But guys, seriously, I want to talk with you guys about the Oceans franchise, all the heist films. Let's talk about it. Have a great discussion down below. And of course, guys, before we get going, Cody, where can they find you at? Okay, guys. Well, as per usual, you can find me on YouTube. Just search my name. Cody Curtis should be the first name that pops up. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and also on Facebook. So just look for underscore Cody underscore Curtis. You'll find me there. And if you guys don't know, Zach and I we have a podcast called the sweet film podcast and you guys can check us on there as well yeah go check it out guys and of course guys before we get going also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on my channel go hit up his channel and go subscribe to him as well he does great a bunch of great film analysis stuff that's really unique i can never do this um the other <laughs> great thing guys though is i also want you guys to make sure to hit up all my social media links if you guys want to talk about other geeky stuff because i always rant on twitter about stupid things and the last and most important thing is go hit up Sam Sean Films down below because down below, this is how you get to see movies early. You guys want to see Ocean's 8? Well, too late. You guys should have checked out the website. So go check it out because they are doing other screening advances. So for Uncle Drew, I think the new, uh, that other basketball comedy that's coming out, that looks a lot, like a lot of fun. And there will be some other ones coming up soon. So make sure to go check out that website. You guys can also find movie news and movie reviews down there. And I also do want to give one more thing about Ocean's 8. I absolutely loved how if you work in retail, there's a scene right in the beginning of this film where you'll be like, I know exactly what she's gonna do because i deal with this on a daily basis i love that scene it was great i loved it and it made me laugh because i deal with that at my job every single day but of course guys until next time stay classy and have a great rest of your guys day